Okay, welcome back. This is video number four of the uh, how to modify or how to uh, upgrade or whatever you want to call it, a Mustang EFI harness uh, for Ford small block to standalone version. And I wanted to cover uh, a quick video here. Um, the connector, the 60 pin connector, how to set it up to make it um, accessible or you know, uh, fixable or changeable. A couple things with the connector is it has this uh, it has this um, cover on the back, this armor plastic piece. It's got four clips, okay, and they clip on the back. There's really you don't really mess with that bolt. It's a 10, 10 millimeter bolt. You don't need to do anything with that. You just kind of work your screwdriver under the little clips there. Like my, my phone can focus, okay, on these little clips, and this thing comes off. Okay, just took a little practice. I used a bigger screwdriver and a little screwdriver. Um, and then the other part is we have to remove this red plastic piece. This is the guard that protects the, the little pins in there, the little female connectors in there. Um, this, holds, this holds them steady and lines them up for the connector. So uh, it is removable, and it took a little while. I, you can read online how to do this. I use this little tiny screwdriver, okay, and in the side, right freaking focus right here right here in each side there's a little groove and you should be able you can see it it's a little hard to see with my phone but that little groove lets this little screwdriver go in there and I could pry it up a little bit and you just kind of keep working it until you get enough see how it's sticking out okay so now I should be able to um, bear with me a moment I should be able to remove it where's my pliers your little needle nose pliers and I should have enough to grip, and I just kind of go left and right across either side of it. Now I do have, I have it out, okay. There you can see it's out. There's the connector. Okay, it just presses in. It, it's not, a, it's, there's nothing holding it in really. It just fits, it's form fitting. But you kind of have to get it started. Um, I'll set it over here, all right, and set that aside. Okay, and then now I'm able to um, access the back of the connector and the front, and you'll see, I'll show you as best as I can, how to take these wires out. Because if you remove these circuits, it's a lot cleaner if you actually just remove the plugs from the connector as opposed to just cutting them and leaving them hanging. That's up to you. But I remove them. Plus, I can use these, these connectors are reusable. I can use these wires if I want to do a mass air upgrade or, you know, return a circuit or something. To the section so, uh, to the harness so there's that and then the last thing I wanted to show you um, this is my last video for tonight uh, is I did in fact on this harness get all the uh, tape off this end which is down here which would typically be down by the battery probably in most cases on the passenger side front corner um, it is a little messy with all the wires um, I will clean that up and consolidate it now understand this this harness is going to go into my Bronco uh, I already have one in there now, but I want to I want to build my own. Um, I, I bought one, I used one, and I'm going to build this harness and do this one to my standards. And again, I'm going to include that circuit box over there, so it's going to have a different uh, a different look and feel. So I'm going to do a lot of customizing on this, but the gist is pretty straightforward what I'm doing. So if there's anything uh, that I would do, most of it you would already do as well if you were going to use these these videos for any ideas. Okay, and again, this is just something, I'm not an expert, I'm not an electronics guy, I've done a few of these, I've read on the internet, I've done a few of them successfully, um, and I wanted to just share what I've learned uh, with everybody, uh, just kind of as a, you know, public service announcement. But I'd be happy to take questions, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that know a lot more about this than I do, but, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that uh, could probably benefit from this. And uh, that's why I'm doing it. So, okay. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.